Hey, anyway, so spoiler free. Yeah, Star Wars Acolytes. Got two major major thoughts here. Uh, number one, fight choreography in this episode was fantastic. Yep. I thought it 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 was fast. It, it combined like the the sort of fast kineticness of the of the best the prequels, of the prequels yeah. with the the sort of grounded weight of the sequels. Of every, and, and honestly, the the original trilogy. yeah as, that as well yeah. Um, we saw one character do some maneuvers that I don't think we've seen in live action Star Wars yet. Um, we've see, we, we saw a whole bunch of characters sort of acting out their character through the fight choreography yeah. in a couple ways, which is always fun. That, yeah, that's some good storytelling. Yeah, yeah, that's some of my favorite stuff in in Star Wars hand to hand or lightsaber to lightsaber combat. Um, my other major thought is, holy shit. This episode did some things. Yeah, I was about to say if we're if I'm saying this in a spoiler free context, mm -hmm. I went in to this thinking that all of the red shirt Jedi were going to die, mm -hmm. and boy was I not disappointed. <laughs> That's all I'll say at the moment. Like I, I, I after I finished the episode, I had to sit for a couple minutes and just let it soak You're in. Like damn, dude, because holy shit. <laughs> yeah, That's, um, go ahead. I. Like some of the things that happened were predictable or mm -hmm. like I could reasonably expect. There was a big there was a big character reveal that probably shouldn't have been telegraphed so much, I don't think. Yeah. But on the other side of that, if they hadn't, you know that there would be people out there who'd be like, Well, that came out of fucking nowhere. Yeah. And it, it you know, it, it doesn't matter. They could have been a little bit more subtle, but yeah. I'm I'm okay with that. I yeah. I, I saw I saw a thing about how Leslie Headland was talking about she wanted to make sure that it was solvable. Yeah. Um, and I think what she meant was I wanted the idiots to get it. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So, you know, but that being said, uh, the I liked the reveal. We were right, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I it thought was it was handled very well. It was the visual reveal was masterful. Mm -hmm. um, the character reveal in that character is acted so well acting and writing yeah absolutely that I, I really enjoyed it let me let me give you some gripes okay and i'm gonna rail on this every single time that it happens and tell disney who uh, as everyone knows we're on their payroll of course yes uh because i know kathleen kennedy is watching this right now mm -hmm. um because she has nothing better to do on a wednesday night right yeah she and brie larson are done making out and destroying star wars yep. they're probably watching together they're yeah. so cute they're, they're, they're cuddling in yep. bed um 30 minute episodes five of which at least five of which are credits three of which are or two of which are uh, Re previously recap, on yeah. which makes it makes it's a 22 minute episode really is not a good format to tell the story they're trying to tell mm -hmm. and uh there are some storytelling things that i loved in this there are storytelling things that i didn't and the reason is because the scenes weren't given enough time to breathe um they have to everything has to be at this like really quick clip and you don't have time to stop and think about anything mm -hmm. they have to do a lot of telling and not showing because they don't have time to show anything because it's yeah. a 20 fucking minute episode right so instead of showing like they did in andor where there something would happen and you would get a, a shot of kino loy or cassie and andor and they just absorb it and, and they get to act with their face mm -hmm. we don't get a lot of that we get some of it we don't get a lot of yeah. it right and that's a huge problem for me I, um, I think in an alternate universe where disney didn't mandate that this had to be a certain number of episodes yeah this and the previous episode could have very easily been combined absolutely i think they picked the logical point to split them but i didn't think need, you, didn't need to have didn't need split, to be split at all in the first yeah. place yeah and i i find myself i think it's because house of the dragon is is out right now i find myself comparing it's it 66 minute episodes right <laughs> And it is unfair because Star Wars is not, it was never and will never be uh, House of the Dragon or Game of Thrones. It's just an entirely different thing, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so, like, I, I have to, like, shake myself off of that. But after seeing Andor, it's like, you guys can tell an extremely uh, dramatic story with a, with an awesome cast which they have for acolyte do a full-length episode mm -hmm. and and get a really good result out of it and i wish they had 
um, I said the same in my notes. I said the same thing about the fight choreography. It is surprisingly brutal. Mm -hmm. Uh, The music is premium tier, particularly in this episode where you can hear the the composer's uh, horror genre roots. And he does this thing in, in Jordan Peele's films too, where he uses lots of human vocals mm-hmm. and it just sounds creepy and it, it sounds really neat. The, the fight scenes look like a slasher movie and they sound kind of like it too. Yeah. Uh, characters we thought had plot armor didn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are veering dangerously close yeah. to spoiler territory here. Uh, so the, I found that the pacing between the action and non-action was kind of funky. And the, I think well, this is the episode thing I'm talking about, the episode length where they like all of a sudden we're like we're in this like this badass thing and then just like you blink and you're so, somewhere else and and we're walking people. through the forest yeah. right and it's just like that if like that could be handled differently if if the editor had a little bit more time to involve performances yeah. um they managed to get some really good violence in this episode despite the rating mm-hmm. and despite the nature of Star Wars they're helped a lot by the fact that lightsabers cauterize, so yeah. there isn't blood. Right. Yeah. It's, <laughs> uh, and we know that Star Wars, uh, the, the closest we'll ever see to a head detached from a body from a lightsaber is like like episode three when you're we're looking at the shadow on the floor yeah. when Dooku gets his head cut off. Yeah. Or like in episode two when Jango Fett gets his head cut off mm-hmm. and you see the <laughs> head Boba come out of the... the head when, the- if, you, if you watch the shadow... There's one bulk that becomes two bulks. Oh. So like the head falls out of the helmet, but you, but you don't see it. Like it's just, it's like yeah. a shadow, right? Um, and that's kind of the nature of Star Wars. Like these, the, the story was. It's entertainment for children. Yeah. And I, I was thinking about this in the shower a little bit today. Like um, I think this is one of the reasons that George sold it to Disney was because he was like, these are, ch- these are children's stories this is a company yeah. that made billions selling, ch- telling children's stories. Yeah. So they get it. Right. Um, so I think that's why he, he, cause I rumor has it, he had approached Disney before to buy it and they, and they didn't want to, and then they did. So uh, for, for what it is, I think, um, it's probably my favorite episode so far out Definitely of the series. My favorite, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to wait until the series is over before I kind of pass a final judgment on it. I think so far, Andor is still my number one Disney Plus show. Yeah. Um, but I mean, anything could change in the next three episodes, right? Sure. Yeah. So let's let's talk about a little bit what happened. We're gonna get into spoilers. So if you've not seen it, it just aired last night. Um so go, go watch yeah, it. It's go, really fucking good. It's it's 20 minutes long. It's not very long. So go go watch it and closer to 25. Yeah. Um so I'm glad that we op- like we open on right right where we left off, mm-hmm. right? And I was afraid that they were going to do a oh, it's time for a flashback thing. Yeah. Uh because it kind of feels like something they would do. Uh just blue ball you a little bit. Just to get you one more week. Yeah. Uh they didn't. And and like we we open on Osha who is dazed as fuck mm-hmm. cuz she everyone got, you know, yeah, kind of blew push. up a little bit. And um like there's a great detail in this where she wakes up and you hear the fight happening yes but she's like there are lightsabers she's flashing and humming and and she just is like the fuck it's muted like it's in the background so so it's maybe not the first thing you would hear or the first thing that she hears yeah yeah it's kind of ruined by if you have subtitles on because it tells you lightsabers clashing right yeah um and so like she finds Pip because like she she lost yeah. Pip. Yeah, and, yeah. So she grabs him and she like gives him a kiss and she's like, uh-huh. Oh thank God. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. thank the force. She starts to walk to see what the big kerfuffle is and she mm-hmm. trips and falls. Mm-hmm. And then we have the first casualty <laughs> of the fucking episode. Just dead Jedi lying right there. She's face to face. Fucking with yeah, Jedi Master goatee or whatever yeah. that was. Uh, she's just like, oh god. Eyes open, fucking yeah. dead as fuck, right? Yeah. So uh, it kind of sets the mood mm-hmm. for the whole thing, right? And uh, she's like, well, <laughs> I have missed some. <laughs> uh, well, okay then. <laughs> I guess we'll proceed carefully. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, and uh, up until we handle the reveal here, I'm going to keep calling him Sith guy. Mm-hmm. 
he is fighting five Jedi at once. And winning. He's doing a fine job. Yeah. He's doing a fucking bang up job. Yeah. Right. And I don't. So these aren't the Order's best fighters. Sure. Obviously. Yeah. Right. And I mean, these are just whoever they could round up and send off with soul. Right. But at the same time, they're Jedi and yeah. they're trained fighters and they have the force. And they are outmatched by one guy. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of them is Yord, uh, the lovable idiot. Yeah. Who has a good moment in this episode, yeah. by the way, where he actually uses his little Yord brain, works something out. Yeah. And then, you know, so there's this really, so this fight, he's just like weaving in and out of these fucking Jedi. Mm-hmm. And there's this great detail that his helmet and his bracers are made from cortosis. I was, I was going to ask because like, a, a couple points he like headbutts a lightsaber and it, and it shorts, shorts out. out it's like it's like when your battery runs out of yeah. battery or your flashlight runs out of battery you're like what the yeah. fuck what, what is this <laughs> so my understanding of cortosis and this is from the old un, old expanded universe is that like it was resistant to lightsabers like it wouldn't melt but yeah, it, it shorts it, them out oh, okay yeah it is okay. that is a known property from you uh, for, uh, okay. of uh cortosis it absolutely shorts them answers out. answers my question though. Um, which by the way water used to short out lightsabers too but that is a fucking Kit Fisto got his figured right. out how to Thanks, it. Thanks, Kathleen Kennedy, for ruining the canon. So anyway, yeah, the, like the two, like the like the two guys, like they're, they're they look down and they're like, what what the fuck happened? Fuck. And they're dead before they can, yeah. Like, <laughs> and there, there's also like. I, I like how like he makes like a Jedi shish kebab by pulling yeah. one in. He stabs one, grabs the other. Yeah, pulls he's like, mm, look at this. <laughs> so these guys all go down pretty quick. Yeah, but I like it better than I like the Palpatine, Mace Windu and Co. Mm-hmm. fight. Right, because he just he does the screech and then like <laughs> all, all the yeah he like it's cool to show that there's effort involved, mm-hmm. but not that much effort like he doesn't win guy. instantly but he does win yeah uh, also you think that guy's probably having a blast right <laughs> he's having he's a like one finally get to find some fucking jedi uh yord's wounded interesting little bit about his his costume design i guess so he has the 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 mask with the yeah creepy grin he has the the bracers smilo ren is yeah. what people have been he, he's going. got you know his his kind of black poncho thing mm-hmm. i guess and his big billowy hakama pants yeah his arms are completely bare Ooh. and this dude is fucking built oh those are nice arms <laughs> i'm just saying he could he could mm-hmm. strangle me any fucking time you <laughs> wanted especially when we find out who it is later yeah um so your like takes a lightsaber to the thigh and he's like oh fuck <laughs> he like falls over yeah. so um he kills all the other ones yes. all the other guys are fucking dead um before he's able to kill yord uh, Osha shoots him with a stun gun. <laughs> this, this is one of my favorite scenes because he just he just gets shot. Just kind of turns yeah. and looks at her have like you, seriously. Have you seen Blade from the like the first Wesley Snipes Blade? I think so. Uh, there's a cop that shoots him while he's like trying to save everyone, and he like turns and he's like, "Motherfucker, are you crazy?" <laughs> That's that was it was that kind of thing. Yeah. So um, it it wasn't effective. Pokemon no. style was not effective. No, no, no. Um, so Yord is like we're all going to die. You need to fucking run. Yes. <laughs> and he like, he like does the, he's yeah. like, Oh God. So, uh, she's like, you know, this would probably be a really good time for me to fuck off. And so, so she runs. She fucks off. May is watching from Kelnaka's hut. Mm-hmm. And she's like, Oh no, <laughs> I, I have chosen poorly. Yeah. So she looks around. She's like, shit. What could- what can I do? She like look. She like, okay. Oh, he's really fucking dead. Because Kalnak is like the the only acting he does in most of the previous episode. In this yeah. episode, is him just like laying there, right? Yeah. So she looks around and she's like, "Oh, it's his lightsaber." So she grabs okay. Kalnak's lightsaber uh, and uh, this big Wookie sized lightsaber. Right. Yeah, it's fucking. Also, the the other lightsaber helps are big too, and I think the in universe explanation for that is that it. Like you would expect lightsaber hilts to get a little bit smaller as technology advances. Sure. And as their methods for building them advance. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm pretty sure they just want them to, to look like the lightsabers at Galaxy's Edge so they can sell more of them. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, which isn't necessarily an indictment. I mean, they've been sell- they've been doing stuff in Star Wars to sell well, toys. We exist in capitalism. Yeah. What are you going to do? Right. Um, I mean, it is an indictment, but it's not a thing where I'm like, yeah, fucking ruined. We'll never watch Star Wars again. Mm-hmm. Um, so Osha is running through the forest and the fucking Sith guy shows up and 
he is like running behind her and he does this sweet as fuck like a lightsaber throw right yep. and it's like whirring <laughs> through the air and right before it hits her Saul just out of nowhere is like Wah-ba! Wah-ba! and then instead of it falling down he just makes it like come back around <laughs> and it cuts like a bunch of trees and yeah. shit and he catches it and like the trees fall over and yeah. And you know that he's incredibly fucking stylish. It's so dramatic. This man is so fucking dramatic. And you know that, like, as soon as he caught that in the trees, he's like, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I hope someone caught that on video. (laughs) So, um, they, so Saul and and Sith guy meet face to face, Uh, face to mask. Yeah. And, uh, it's pretty, like, just their initial meeting, stare, like, kind of checking each other out and everything Mm -hmm. is really neat. Uh, Yord catches up. Yeah. And he's like, ow, my leg. <laughs> and so he's like, okay. Saul says, civilians to the ship. And Osha's like, is he talking about me? And he's like, yeah. You're like, yes, yes. You're, you're the only yes. civilian. You are here. the civilian here. We're also the only ones living right now. So <laughs> let's just, let's just go. Um, so he takes her and he runs. Mm-hmm. Uh, meanwhile, Basil, the little like tracker guy, mm-hmm. uh, He's he's like around, like sniffing the air and shit. And he's like, "Oh, everyone's dying. I think I, I think I might leave." Yeah, <laughs> I was not hired for this. Uh, he leads Yord and Osha back, like in the direction of the ship, mm-hmm. and it's like Osha doesn't want to go back. Yeah, she she wants to fight, or at least help Saul. And yeah. Yord's like, "I'm an idiot." Saul, <laughs> tell me, like, I, I'm just gonna do what Saul said because yeah. it's probably the best idea here. Like, don't make me Vulcan neck pinch you. Do, yeah. Just please come with me. And uh, meanwhile, Saul and Sith guy are like checking each other out and he's he does he does this great physical acting where he does these weird grotesque head tilts yeah and it's just like it's it's kind of gross it and really like, does feel like a God. horror movie a little yeah bit. and he calls him uh master saul mm-hmm. and saul's like who the fuck are you and and he's like you don't remember me and he's like D- no this whole conversation is really i'm gonna let you get yeah. through it but i i have thoughts yeah he um he does i, I have some thoughts too by the way um because we're we're meant to think of it as a reference to something that happens in the show, but I think it might not be. But he says, you don't remember me. And uh, Saul says, well, actually, on second thought, you do kind of feel familiar. And um, and then Saul's like, you have a lightsaber. It's a fucking Jedi weapon, but you're not a Jedi. And he's like, no shit. <laughs> you think? <laughs> what tipped you yeah. off? So May makes a run for it. Right, she she like collects herself in the hut. She's like, okay, May, you can fucking do this. Let's go. Opens the door, runs out, immediately fucking vault kicked by Jackie. <laughs> Jackie's like in the woods waiting. Right, yeah. she's like, this bitch is gonna come out. I'm gonna fly through the air and kick her right in the fucking face. <laughs> and she does, yeah. and it's actually really fucking cool. They they have this neat uh like hand to hand thing, right? And like at one point, Jackie does this cool move, and she's got the handcuffs out. And she's yeah. like, Haha, you're under arrest, motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, and so like the, the struggle there continues. Saul and the Sith guy fight. And this is truly excellent. Yes. This is truly excellent choreography. Uh, Saul's a badass. Yeah. Because remember, 5v1, he cut through those Jedi like fucking nothing. Yeah. He and like now that it's Saul, it's a Jedi master. He's he's a little bit more careful and methodical. Mm. And Saul doesn't give him like an inch for, for like a good attack. Yeah. Right. And, um, he tells him to show his face. He's like, "Hey, you, you, you obviously trained May. She fights just like you, and like show your face." And and he says, "And let you read my thoughts." And then does a really creepy delivery of "No, no, no." And I'm like, "Oh, stop talking like that." <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no. So he Saul asks him like, "What what master hides his face from his pupil?" And then very cryptically, he looks at him. He's like, "I don't know, dude. You tell me." <laughs> and then. Uh, well, we don't really get a hint from Saul, but so Sith guy and Saul clearly know each other. Yeah, like uh, I, I don't know where the connection is exactly. I'm, I'm. My first thought was that Sith guy has some connection to Planet of the Witches from like Episode Three or whatever. He seems to. We'll find out a little bit later on. He seems to at least know what happened there. Yeah, like he was that's, there. That's the big thing. When we get to the reveal of his name, I, I mm. have something to to point out to. Sure. Um. So the fight between May and Jackie is continuing. Um, Jackie gets kind of hurt and she screams and elsewhere, Yord and Osha hears it. Mm-hmm. And so Osha's like, we got to go help Jackie. I'm kind of crushing on her. She's kind of crushing on me. Yeah. And um, Yord's like, Jackie is a Jedi and Osha. And Jedi is like, don't do that. Yeah. 
Osha is like, yeah, the other Jedi were Jedi and they're fucking dead now. <laughs> uh, so Yord, we need like, let's go save Jackie. And he's like, no, we're going to keep moving. So civilians to the ship. Yes. Uh, yeah, those were his, <laughs> my only order <laughs> said in an amount of words I can handle <laughs> civilians to the ship. So Sith guy knocks Saul over. Mm-hmm. And by the time he gets back up, he's pulled a Batman. He's just he's entirely gone. gone. Yeah. And this is where one of those weird pacing things happen where now Yord and Osha are just like kind of meandering through the forest. Mm-hmm. Right. They're not even walking with any serious, like, uh, well, the, the thing is, like, they, they reach the, the Umbra Moth territory here, right? Well, not yet. They have, okay. a, little, they have a little talk first. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and she's like, what the fuck is that thing? And, and Yord's like, I don't know. He doesn't follow the rules of combat. There's no method to his movements. Uh, he gets in your head. And I don't know how the fuck he does that. And um, someone pointed out on social media, they took this as proof that he wasn't a Sith because Yord says that he's not like, like it sounds like he's poorly trained by this point the jedi have not seen a sith for 900 years i i would not and and yord's an idiot yeah. like i i doubt he spent his weekends in the library looking up exactly what sith do i i would not take yord as an authoritative source here also i kind of took him to mean that like sith guy didn't do the uh, lightsaber duels for gentleman class yeah he, he didn't do what the jedi expected yeah, because i mean whether or not he's self-taught, which I don't believe, he killed five Jedi and it was easy. Yeah. Like the dude just fucking laid the smack down on them. Mm-hmm. So I that's what I'm kind of taking it to mean. Like he he doesn't fight fair, yeah. is, is what I heard. So um Osha is like, oh my mom, uh, the lesbian, get over it, guys. They're lesbians. You're gonna have to fucking deal with it. Uh could get in people's minds and turn them into lesbians. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not really. Okay. Um and he's like, oh, well, that's, that's really interesting. Let's keep going. And I, I think that, like that is kind of uh, was a clue to me about maybe who Sith guy's master is. Because I don't think he's the master. Okay. I think that, that possible. might be someone else. Um, May and Jackie are still beating the shit out of each other. Yeah. Uh, and Jackie gets the upper hand. And like at some point, May pulls out a knife and starts throwing yeah, it. Yeah. And Jackie's like, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, she gets the upper hand and gets the other handcuff on fucking hands behind yep. the back. And she's like reading the Miranda rights and shit. She likes arresting people, yeah. by the way. Like it's one kind of, the, of her thing. The first things we learned about her is fucking you're under arrest in the name of the blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So, um, she takes Kalnaka's lightsaber from May and she's really offended that she took you, it at all. You fucking bitch. Yeah. You took his lightsaber. Um, which like, you know, that May's internal monologue was like, did you see what was killing all of your friends? <laughs> like I needed something. Yeah. Um, which by the way, why wouldn't May just be like, look, I know, I know I did something wrong and like you guys are after me, but do you really think that our best bet is to not be fighting together against whatever the fuck that is? I, I don't think Jackie would have, I don't think May is thinking logically at this point. Yeah. I, she's I think she's shitting panicking. her pants. Yeah. yeah. So Sith guy shows up. Right as she's like getting the handcuffs on mm-hmm. um, and attacks Jackie and uh, w- takes her off guard a little bit. But then Jackie is like, oh, well, let's fucking fight. Yeah. Lightsabers. I know how to do lightsabers. Daphne Keen. Maybe it's because I maybe it's because I saw her in Logan. That little ball of yeah. of dangerous rage. Yeah. That's all I saw the whole time she was fighting. Mm-hmm. I was like, I would not want her swinging something at me. Yeah. So, uh. The Sith guy is like, hey, May, you should you should learn from this Padawan. She's a loyal pupil. And then he shorts out Jackie's lightsaber. Mm-hmm. And Jackie's like, fuck you. I got another fucking lightsaber. <laughs> Pulls out Kelmaka's yeah. lightsaber. Just this fucking cool dual uh-huh. wield thing. With, um, with the Ahsoka Tano backwards grip. Yeah. Um, May, like, gets her legs through yeah. the handcuffs and then, like, starts running away again. Yeah. She just wants to leave. Yeah. She just wants to go home. She just wants out. Yeah. So um, Sith guy notices uh, during the fight, he he damages Jackie's lightsaber, I think. Mm -hmm. And she looks down at it and looks up and he's pulled another Batman. and He's Mm -hmm. just gone. So uh, Yord and Osha get to that spot from the last episode with with the bugs. Right. And 
they like your turns his lightsaber off and and well, you, Moshe has to tell your to turn his lightsaber right. off because he's too stupid to do it himself. yeah because it's like why and it's like were you not here the last fucking episode? bugs the thing soul had to kill you watch the light you literally heard him say yeah. it's attracted to the light like yeah. what the fuck man he's like i'm having a bad day <laughs> okay <laughs> aren't we all yeah um and you can tell that like she's got an idea mm-hmm. about the light thing and uh then sith guy shows up so as May runs through the forest, uh, Sith guy gets in her head, and there's this really neat like th- they do this really neat shot where it's like a close up of his face, but it's like a steady cam yeah. of him running through the forest. So like his head is very still, but everything behind him is really chaotic. It- it's really creepy, like it's it's really gross. And he's like, "You motherfucker, we're going to betray me." And she's she's like, "Ah, oh, no, 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 don't <laughs> fucking do that thing," out of nowhere. Fucking as she's running, he like just appears and goes to take her head right off, mm-hmm. right? And she ducks and then she tries to apologize. She's like, I'm, I'm so sorry. Yep. Uh, to be fair, I've never seen you down five Jedi before. <laughs> if Had I had known that before, maybe I would not have tried to betray you. So she's like, forgive me. I, I was weak. And he's like, motherfucker, you've always been weak. And then he cuts her handcuffs off. Mm-hmm. Which I thought was really interesting. Well, he swings at her and like she kind of dodges and brings. Oh, the handcuffs see, off. I saw what I saw was him purposefully cutting the handcuffs off. It's possible. I, I interpreted it as mm. her bringing them up to. Anyway, the handcuffs come off, yes. right? And before he's able to kill her, Saul shows up and, and attacks. And mm-hmm. fucking. Then Jackie is there. Yeah. And like they work well together as a unit. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, they do one of the things in, in episode one where. Um, uh, like Obi Wan and Qui Gon are so in tune with each other that th- they don't need to communicate what they're doing. And they're, like, this is the one spot where like, uh, uh, Obi Wan like goes to hit Maul and then fakes him out, and then Qui Gon goes the other direction yeah. and everything. They have like that kind of dynamic mm-hmm. going. And uh, so they two v one, and then May is like, I guess I'll run again. I'm, ru- I'm yeah. on she it. Sends, See ya. spends this whole episode running <laughs> yeah. away, right? Um. And before she runs away, the Sith guy tries to kill her. And Saul and Jackie save her, and then they, they keep fighting. So Osha is hearing voices now in her mm-hmm. head. And it's not the first time. So she's like, again, <laughs> with this bullshit. And uh, she tells Yord, like, we got to go back. He's like, he's going to kill everybody. And Yord's like, uh, he already has <laughs> killed everyone, pretty much. Like, everyone would include us if yeah. we went back. Um, she's got Pip. Mm-hmm. and like she, this idea this light idea is still in the back of her head and she's like follow me so the sith guy shorts out saul's lightsaber mm-hmm. and then jackie just goes absolutely ape shit and like she gets good ground on him yeah. she she hits him in the face if he knocks his fucking helmet clean the fuck off uh but the sith guy pulls out a surprise second lightsaber yep. in his lightsaber yo dog i heard you like yep. lightsabers and he fucking kills her yeah stabs her like once here and then here here yep unceremoniously fucking it was like i'm tired of you child get the fuck out of my face mm-hmm. and she's dead she's and dead as a doornail they they do this reveal where her she hasn't fallen over yet and he's standing behind her mm-hmm. and then she falls over and then you see that it's come here mm-hmm. and I have in my notes, first of all, he looks so good. <laughs> like, both sexually and conceptually, mm-hmm. right? Because he doesn't have the poncho on anymore. And he's, everything's black, but he's got his fucking, uh, his tunics and this big fucking, like, Kylo Ren looking thing. And he's got his Hakama pants on and these nice fucking arms. And I'm telling you, like, Yord Horde is out. It's like <laughs> Kamir cult now, right? Okay. That's, that's where we're going Fair after enough. this. So, Saul is kind of bereft now right mm-hmm. and like he says her name and like then he's son of a bitch yeah and he's like ah oh, jackie and then come is like um like is that what its name was and it's like D- damn dude damn. like you killed her yeah. wasn't that enough <laughs> jesus christ and he's like she was just a fucking child and come like you fucking brought her here which is an excellent yeah. point and an indictment of the whole padawan yeah. system he's like, like what what are you doing here with a fucking kid yeah and Your so fucking idea Kamir transitions from badass Sith guy to goofy Kamir just like on the drop of a hat because like he sees May 
And it's like, oh, hey, May. Hey, May. And it's that, that weird drunken <laughs> yeah. thing that he was doing before. Uh, he grabs May by the throat. And he's like, girl, did you really not know it was me? Come on. Now. It was pretty yeah. obvious. And like everyone's like, we all knew. No. Apparently, May was the only person that didn't know, right? So Saul tries to attack Kamir while he's distracted. Mm-hmm. And uh, he calls him on it. He's like, motherfucker. Jedi do not attack when someone's back is turned. You tried to kill me, yeah. but my back turned. Come on, man. That's not very that's not very cash money of you. Yeah. <laughs> and so um Kamir holds May hostage. He's got like the lightsaber against her head mm-hmm. and shit. And Saul's like, okay. All right, fine. And he drops his weapon. And he's like, what the fuck are you? <laughs> and he says, I have no name, but the Jedi like you might call me, drumroll, Sith. <gasps> and we're talking about this because his delivery of this and the words he chooses is suspect to me. Okay. But we'll get there. Mm-hmm. And Saul's like, why the fuck would you risk discovery? And he's like, to be fair... <coughs> I was wearing my sweet ass mask yes. and then your, your little ball of rage knocked it off my face. Yeah. So I was trying to, I was trying yeah. to be subtle here, but, and to be fair, I would have, I would have gotten away with it. With that if fucking it meddling that kid. Meddling kid. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so I was like, what do you want? And Kamir says freedom to wield my power the way I like without having to answer to the Jedi. Oh, and I want to, I want a student. I want I want an accolade. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I have to kill all of you because you've seen my face. Uh, I don't make the rules. The Jedi do. Mm-hmm. You, that's the rule. You see yeah. my face, you, you die. Which sounds like a rule from his master. Could be. I, I, this might be a thing where I was like, you can go out and do whatever freaky shit you're going to do, come here. But like, if someone sees your face, like if a Jedi sees your face, you best kill them. So he looks... This just reminded me of the scene in the shop where um, the... The three Jedi, like they, they corner him yep. in the shop, and it's Jackie, Yord, and Soul. Yeah. So those might be the three. I, I don't know if, if like he would have deliberately made that connection because like they hadn't seen him in his Sith persona well, yet. They didn't but, know that it was him yet. Yeah. Right. I think after after they saw who he was, after he started killing Jedi, is it was like the point yes, of no return. For sure. So he looks at May and Soul, and he's like, or Osha and and May. May. I don't think Osha. Yeah, Osha's not there yet. Yeah, you're right. And um, he's like, look at you two, right? Right back where you started. And fucking Yord appears out of nowhere. And the dude has a badass moment Mm -hmm. where in his little Yord brain, he put together that the helmet shorts out lightsabers. And so he picks it up and he shorts fucking Kamir's lightsaber. And they've got a moment where they're like, you know, they're they're kind of locked together. But um, Kamir grows tired of him and fucking breaks his neck. Right. And it's it's he goes. It's violent and brutal and yeah, fucking dead as a doornail. (laughs) So did not and, expect that to happen either. So I I knew I assumed that Yord was gonna die. I did not see Jackie coming. Yeah. Jackie was like, holy shit. Like that's that's I I figured that that Jackie and Saul would be the ones to walk away from this. Mm-hmm. He throws Yord's body like a fucking used towel, just fucking throws yeah. him aside. Um May goes to run. Osha, who is with Yord, is like, oh uh, not again, and shoots her with a stun gun. Mm-hmm. So Saul has finally had enough. Yes. And he he does his own ape shit thing. And they have this really neat hand to hand thing. Uh he get like he knocks Kamir over, he fucking picks up his lightsaber, and he's he's gonna he's gonna kill him, right? Yep. Um, and then Osha stops him. Like, dude, it's like it's not very Jedi of you. It's not very cash money. Of you. <laughs> so, Saul, take a fucking breath, you're a Jedi. And uh Kamir's like, Osha, like, is this your master? Like you you trust him after everything he's done to you. And, and Saul has this moment where like he starts, he, like you can tell that he doesn't want the conversation to go somewhere. Mm-hmm. And so he says his mind is twisted by darkness. It's the, Oh, he's lying kind of a thing. Yeah. Right. Um, and then Saul lets him go. And then uh, there's this moment where Osha tells Pip that she loves him mm-hmm. and then pulls his head off, yep. <laughs> turns it into a flashlight, flashlight jams it into yeah. sit. The the Kamir's the bug the, the bug the bugs and things are like ooh look ooh look light and they swoop yeah. down to get him. There's this funny detail where they swoop down, 
and he flinches because they're giant fucking yeah. bugs. And then he's like, I'm a Sith. What the fuck am I doing? And he's like, drops his arms like, really? <laughs> and, and he's like cutting some of them down, yeah. but like they, they grab they him grab and they him and him like, fly away. Yeah. And we know that he's not dead. Of like, course. if this is how Kamir went out, it would be the funniest shit in the world. But also, what kind of, like, imagine what, what taking. What kind of Sith would he be? <laughs> imagine killing seven Jedi and then bugs kill you. <laughs> It'd be so embarrassing. So uh, Osha's like, why did he say that whole thing about the dressing? And he's like, I'll explain. He goes to explain. May shoots him with a stun gun. And Osha's like, son of a bitch. God damn it. He was about to say it. Yeah. So May and Osha talk. And it more or less boils down to the same argument mm -hmm. where Osha's like, May, why are you such an asshole? And Osha's like, let's climb into each other's bodies and we can never be apart again. And she's like, she's like eh, that's really fucking creepy, May. No. Like, why is yeah. why is this your thing? Why are you like this? She called her on starting the fire, mm -hmm. and her response, May's response to that was, "They've brainwashed you. They've turned you against me." Which is not a denial. I but, also, it, but I think it it's also an acknowledgement that Osha doesn't actually know what happened there. I I don't think May started the fire. Okay. Maybe she started the, the fire, which is bad enough, mind you. She tried to kill her sister, yeah. right? But, like, that leading to that reactor thing exploding? No, that that was certainly not it. And, like, I, all the witches being dead, that that was not the result of one little fire. Right. So, um, she, she gives a little bit of emotional manipulation. She's like, please choose me. Or you never choose yeah. me. And it makes me very sad. Um, and they hug, and then Osha like is like that was a trick hug have an arm lock mm -hmm. then puts her in an arm lock and she's like you're under arrest taking a page out of jackie's book <laughs> in the name of the galactic senate of the republic you're under yeah. arrest and may like kind of gets out of it force pushes her and knocks her out right well they, they trade wrist locks first yeah and then yeah, yeah. she force pushes her she takes cal knock his lightsaber mm -hmm. gives herself like a like a great cuts mm -hmm. haircut which is like you have knives you could just use that, but she was very dramatically was like, "Wah!" You know, the lightsaber probably does it quicker. That's that's true. But then you guys, then you have to smell the burning hair, hey. which I assume is probably pretty gross. So um, she cuts her own hair, and then it cuts away. Yep. And she um, kind of bends over Osha, and yeah, and, she takes uh, a look at her. Yeah. yeah. So elsewhere, somewhere. Wherever the bugs took him, Camir mm -hmm. has freed himself from the bugs. So they're all dead. <laughs> These and, fucking bugs. Yeah. Dude. And he floats down like a dainty, but yeah. dainty little butterfly. And he's like, motherfucker. <laughs> fucking seven Jedi. These fucking bugs. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing they didn't team up. Who the fuck knew what yeah. would happen? Yeah. So Osha approaches Saul. Uh, who we, uh, I know, I know, I understand. Okay. Okay. She, there is a mo like, it's that moment in The Last Jedi. Uh, actually, this is the thing in the other scene. Basil like scurries by and picks up Pip's head. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. So there's that. Mm -hmm. uh, Osha, or who we think is Osha, walks up to Saul, who is unconscious, mm -hmm. and it's that moment from the Last Jedi when Kylo Ren is unconscious, and General Hux is like, "I could kill him," and then he wakes up and he's like, "Oh, you're alive! Hey, so good to see <laughs> yeah. you, boss." It's kind of that where she like she walks up and she's like, "Oh, what is this?" And then he wakes up and she's like, "Oh, hey, what's hey, up, Saul? How yeah." You doing? Saul seems very confused about what he's seeing in front of him. Mm -hmm. I think maybe somewhere he senses something that's off, mm -hmm. but Saul's had a very bad day. Yes, for he's, sure. Uh, lots of things on this man's mind, right? Mm -hmm. And so he just kind of shakes it off, and he's like, we got to get back to the ship. And Osha gives him a hand up, and, and yeah. they, they go. Uh, Basil follows them. Mm -hmm. I think Basil immediately is like, what the fuck is up with this? Weird fucking I, I shit imagine, going on here. Yeah. Like, it was bad enough all these fucking Jedi died, but now what, what the fuck is this? Yeah. So he follows them to the ship. Um, he gets onto the ship after they do, and he seems to realize that, like, this isn't actually Osha. Yeah. So Kamir finds the unconscious actual Osha. Which you can tell because she has because, the tattoo. Yeah, the, the, the tattoo that she didn't think Saul would like. Mm. And he covers her very sweetly with his, with his like poncho thing, mm -hmm. and and he says, "What extraordinary beings we are!" And then there is a direct uh, quote of the Kylo Ren theme. Oh, hmm. uh, it, it is note for note the Kylo Ren theme, which really confused me. 
it wasn't that thing where it's like, oh, that could kind of be the Kylo Ren. It is literally Kylo Ren's theme. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then he continues, even in the revelation of our triumph, we see the depth of our despair. And I'm kind of getting maybe the feeling that he thinks maybe he found another student. That that would be my conclusion. Because well. he could have just fucking killed her. Yeah. I mean, he has no... Re- I guess maybe he could use her to to manipulate May. I mean, she's seen his face. So if nothing else, he would want to kill her just to... Yeah, but he's like real nice. He's like, oh, you look cold. Yeah. Here, have my fucking poncho, yeah. you know. Uh, and that's the end of the episode. So I, I, I don't know what May's plan here is because I can think of, like, without even trying, five different ways she would get found out. Yeah. Also, okay. I found May's sudden change of heart in the last episode, the, Oh, OSHA's alive. Oh my gosh, that changes everything. I found that to be really unconvincing and weird. Well, this could just be the writing and the fact okay. that everything's got to like move along. Yeah. Cause it's a, you know, it's a five minute episode yeah. or whatever. Um, at the same time, it could be that she is spinning her own web. I think what it is, like we see in the flashback episode that may is not entirely rational where her sister is involved. That's yeah, that's fair. Like she, she's always like, we got to do everything together. We got to share all each other's secrets. We got to blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. So, let's just push ourselves together real yeah. hard and see if we become the same person. Well, let's do the Dragon Ball Z fusion dance. It'd yeah. be great. So I, I, I think she's just, she, she's just not. This isn't the phrase I want to use, but she's not mentally stable where Osha is concerned. I don't think, I, I think that you would have to not be mentally stable to do what she's done. Right. Yeah. Like so there's clearly something that is a uh, that has affected her mentality. I mean, she's willing to kill a, d- a defenseless Jedi. You know, um, she talks one dude into fucking offing himself. <laughs> like she's clearly unwell. It, it it but something specifically about Osha and their relationship really sets her off. I guess it seems like it's maybe kind of a it was kind of a toxic relationship. I, you place. think? <laughs> yeah. Your camera is not on, dudes. Can't see you guys. Is that real? I don't uh, know. So this will not um, affect our... Okay. You should see us now. Uh, I, pre- I, uh, I I I knew exactly. Oh, uh, okay. All right. There's an actual goof. Yeah, that was set up for a thing I, I had to do last. We apologize. Yeah. Uh, thank you for everyone saying we don't have video. By the way, if you really missed the video, uh, this will be up on the original uh, on the uh, um, the official release of the podcast yeah. uh, on Saturday. Also, the 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 acolyte video will be a separate video that I'll probably put out tomorrow. So, um, but thank you for letting me know. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me read some of these other things real quick. And I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling Padawans. Love the prison shank style. I think that's talking about. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I almost thought uh, when they were when they're hugging that they would absorb into one being. <laughs> I'm sure that May really wants that. Yeah. She'd probably be thrilled. Yeah. Uh, Casey says Basil is named after the inspiration for Sherlock. Also, Basil the Great Mouse Detective. Also, the Spice. Yeah. Which probably isn't yeah. spelled the same. Uh, and Jimmy says, there you are. Yeah. Um, yeah. But which, by the way, uh, we know that Saul uh, means that that is the name of our the name son. Of our son. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it turns out that Kamir is the Arabic word for moon. Oh. Hmm. Which matches the motif in the in the credits with the, the two moons and shit. Yeah. So I've seen some... Um, I've... I've seen some theories about the possibility of them uh, being related. They have some relationship for sure. Yeah. Like Chimere was Chimere, Chimere, whatever was, was very clearly taunting him. And when, when soul realizes who he is, like he's, he's pretty shaken. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to read some, some, uh, some fan insights, uh, well over a hundred of you weighed in and we're not going to be able to read all of these. I'm so sorry. So I'm going to pick the ones, uh, that I was going to pick the ones who I found attractive, <laughs> but I can't see their profile pictures from here. Yeah. So Michael says Yoda has to know by now. I don't think so. In fact, um, so I, I do think the first 
possibly second thing Sol does as soon as he gets back to the ship is call Vernestra Rowe and say, yeah. we have a problem. All my friends are dead. There's a Sith out here. We need help. Yeah. Um, we know that Vernestra goes to the where all this happens. Mm -hmm. There's a shot of her, in there, which, by the way, an interesting thing. We have almost entirely run out of trailer footage. We have, what, three episodes left? Three episodes left, and all the trailer footage is more or less, except there, there's one shot of Kalmaka and, and Tommen fighting, mm -hmm. and then there's a shot of Vernestra uh, doing her light whip yeah. in, in the forest. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I don't, I think that they seem real hesitant to let the Jedi Council know what's going on anyway, so it's entirely possible. She's like, they didn't all die. You know what? I'll go on and <laughs> yeah. look for myself, yeah. right? Uh, Andy says, epic fight scenes is definitely getting better. For sure. Joey says, I very much enjoyed the lightsaber fight, but the story still isn't there for me. Fair. Greg said, uh, I lost it when I realized the armor was cortosis and the light punch, jagger, punch dagger was brutal. The dialogue between Kamir and Sol was chef's kiss. Mm -hmm. Absolutely love this episode. Our friend April uh, said, that was just wow. I was totally floored. So many more questions and answers. A lot to wrap up. I hope they do a good job. Me too. Uh, Sam says, great episode. Tim says, it was a fight that I don't wish to see again. <laughs> well, that's the magic. It, it's spooky. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, I think he meant it in a snide kind oh, of way. Wow. Uh, which it, it's like, you, you don't have to watch it again. Yeah. You didn't have to watch it the yeah. first time. I'm not holding you down making yeah. you watch it. Uh, Ralph says... A uh, joke I made last week turned out to be correct. Ha 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 ha. I don't know how to say this to you, man. I didn't hear your joke, but I'm sure it was hilarious. Mm -hmm. uh, Clark Kent, spelled with K's, says, great episode. Getting better, I must say. Richard says, uh, we got served a Jedi shish kebab. <laughs> <laughs> the dude straight up did make a yeah. Jedi shish kebab. Uh, Beth says, best episode yet, but driven by the awesome fight scenes. Not much character or plot development other than the big reveal. I think that's because those two episodes could have been the same episode. Yeah. And it could have, so and if that had been the case, they could have had character development and a cool ass fight. And then all the boxes are checked and, mm -hmm. and then you have a good episode, right? Um who is Kamir's master? asks Ryan. I think it might be Master Coral. Hmm. I think that I don't know. Yeah. So the the Kamir thing is interesting because I've seen a lot of people draw reference, uh, draw similarities between Kamir and the original Ren that we meet in the Knights of uh, the yeah. uh, um, Rise of Kylo Ren. The Rise of Kylo Ren. The thing is that uh, by the time Ben kills him, he would have to have been 160 years old, which he's a human yeah and that's a little bit unbelievable than slightly extending a syrian's life yeah. lifespan um but the resemblance is striking it wouldn't surprise me if we find out that maybe someone saw him somewhere and was like oh that's fucking cool and that's how like they thought it, like that's how the knights of ren were yeah. born because they're all fucking posers anyway yeah it would make perfect sense for them just to pose off of Kamir, right mm -hmm. um I think everyone agrees that he's not the master. There are some people who don't necessarily think he's even a Sith. Then maybe he's a pretender mm. uh, because of the way that he's like, Oh, well you might call me a Sith. Right. Mm. Um, I, I think what's possible, at least the, what I would like to see is that we find out he's, he's the apprentice and is trying to find a way to do his Sithly duty and finally kill his master. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it probably ends up failing. I would see, I would bet Kamir dies by the end of the show. Um, and then it's probably Darth Tenebris. Um, they could fudge Plagueis' age a little bit because he's not human. Mm -hmm. Like that, that species can be however long lasting yeah. they need him to be. Um, but there's something weird going on with Kamir and uh, April, our friend April is, right about there being more questions and answers which which is the mark of a good show yeah that's the you know you, you want to keep asking those questions